Gather round, friends, and let me spin you a tale of heroes and destiny that started amidst the ancient stones of Markarth, where our adventurers, Morgana and Ori, first crossed paths with the remarkable Mirai. Is everything all right? Do you need help? All right? Excuse me, but who are you? Now, Mirai, with her heart as fierce as a dragon's flame, has a destiny intertwined with the very fabric of Skyrim's history. But alas, her path is fraught with danger. For her own flesh and blood, her father harbours dark intentions that could shatter the realms of both mortals and dragons alike. He has reached out to me and asked me to return Mirai, and I am simply trying to return her to him. That is all. With courage burning bright in their souls, Morgana and Ori pledged their blades and magic to aid Mirai in her quest to thwart her father's wicked plans. Together, they unravel the threads of deceit and treachery woven by Mirai's own kin, navigating through the shadows of betrayal and deceit. Earthstar Outpost, her father's icy fortress in the cold barren lands of Winterhold. Alright. We're going in here then becomes a stage for a daring rescue, where bonds forged in battle grow stronger than steel. Mirai's reunion with her mother, Renai, is a moment of triumph, a flicker of hope amidst the darkness that threatens to engulf them all. I found your mother. She's unharmed. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. But our intrepid duo's journey is far from over, my friend. With hearts set on adventure and justice, Morgana and Ori embark on a detour to hunt down a fallen hero. A vampire hunter who succumbed to the very darkness he swore to vanquish. Allowing Mirai and her mother, Renai, the opportunity to spend some much needed quality time together, forging bonds of love and understanding amidst the tumult of their shared past. We'll be in Mirai's home in Markarth if you ever need us. Come on, Mirai. We should get going. In the depths of Skyrim's wilds, Morgana and Ori track the trail of the accursed hunter. His lair shrouded in shadows and whispers of the undead. With each step they draw closer to confronting the darkness that lurks within. A test of resolve and strength that will shape their fates forevermore. But fear not, for our heroes are not alone in their quest. Together they stand against a tide of darkness, bound by friendship forged in the crucible of adventure. And as they face the challenges that lie ahead, they find solace in knowing that their bond is as unyielding as the mountains that cradle Skyrim's lands. Today's episode is not just the culmination of Mirai's saga, it's the dawn of a new chapter in the grand tapestry of our hero's adventure. As Mirai steps into the fold alongside Morgana and Ori, their bond grows stronger, their resolve firmer, and their journey ever more exhilarating. But the adventure doesn't end with this video. If the fire of excitement burns within you, if the thrill of adventure calls your name, then heed my call my friend. Give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and journey with us on Discord as well. It's a place where like-minded souls gather to share tales, forge friendships and embark on quests yet untold. Join us and let your own legend begin. Hold on to your seats for our heroes are facing their most daunting challenge yet, an epic battle with a level 60 Nighthawk. So settle in and witness first hand and Morgana and Ori confront this fearsome dragon menace head on. The clash of steel, the crackle of magic and the roar of the beast will echo through the annals of Skyrim's history. Get ready to be swept away by the thrill of combat and the triumph of bravery.
My life, that was a tough battle. I'm glad it's over now, though. Well for Ori. Well, Garnet and Ori for the win, eh? Let's grab all of our arrows back and we can carry on. Some serious, uh, seriously good loot on that. Okay, so where's Renai then? Somewhere in here. Should we try sneaking? and spit all you like, buddy. Ain't gonna do you any good. Get your arrows in there. Oh, bugger, I hit the wall with the ship. Ah, oh, keep hitting the ship. Oh, you just have popped that hit. That's one for me. Wow, they're a little bit tough. Okay, well, I guess everyone knows we're here now. There's no point in uh, sneaking, is there? Just the apprentice level lock. You think that there's something a bit, diff bit more difficult than that? If someone's bothering you, point. Yeah, and I'll teach them to disrespect you. Always getting yeah, smacked in the face with a door. Renai. Yes. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm fine. You have to go after Mirai. Zanan has her. Mirai is safe. Zanan is dead. He's dead? Oh. I, he wouldn't quit until the very end, huh? Was this agenda of yours really worth your life, Zanan? I just wanted him to come back home with Mirai and, and me and forget this ever happened. Well, I guess that was a bit naive, wasn't it? He went to such great lengths. But I have no idea why. Truth Mirai is the descendant of the first dragonborn. The first? What? Then... Zenon was right. She is special. Maybe I was quick to think the worst, but that still doesn't excuse what he did. If that's the case, Mirai should be protected, not exploited. <sighs> what happened to the man I knew? How did you meet Zanen? Zanen and I met when we were very young. I was about Mirai's age. We fell in love instantly. He was much different then. We were really happy once. A couple of years after we met, I realized I couldn't have children of my own. Zanen was devastated more so than even me. 
I think that was the point he really started to change. He became so religious then. It was then when he joined some religious group. It turned him into the man you saw today. Mirai entered our lives shortly after. I realize now that the cult probably murdered Mirai's birth parents. I don't know how I could have been so blind all this time. What will you do now? Mirai will still need protection. There are a lot more like Xanon, and once they find out he's dead, they will send someone else. It's not safe in High Rock for Mirai and me. If Mirai lets me, I think I'll live with her. That way I can help her and you as well if you need it. Anyways, we should go speak with Mirai. She must be feeling very confused right now. I would imagine she probably is as well. Okay, let's go back and find Mirai. A little bit blood spattered, but I'm sure that'd be fine. Always eating, Yori. Always eating. <laughs> There's no yes, meat in there, though. You know, it's only fruit and veg. And bread. And no veg. <laughs> So a quick look in this ship. Come on out the way, please. Let's see if there's any this treasure worth taking first. Doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Wow, some uh, heavy grips. War Chief's heavy grips. There's some meat on there for you, Ori. Ori, save a bit for me. Are you right? Well, Ori, you just took all of that for yourself, didn't you? All the glory. Fuck. Well, can't line up on this. Ah! I think it's empty anyway. Nice speech increase. I'll leave that there. Otherwise, not a lot. Alright, let's go find Mirai now. Well, there she is. The girl with the dragon heart. I found your mother. She's unharmed. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. My dad. He's really dead, isn't he? He is. I'm still here, Mirai. I know how hard this must be for you. He was also my husband. We both lost a lot. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I... Can we just go home now? Mirai, it's not safe. It's still not over. Your father, Zeman, he's not the only one they'll recruit. They won't give up on the descendant of the first dragonborn so easily. We can't go back home. You told her? Why would you want to keep it a secret from me in the first place, Mirai? It's better this way. I can look after you easier. You've already done so much for me. I don't want to worry you anymore. I know a lot of things have changed, but I'm still your mother, and all you have left, it, it's pretty much my job to worry. So, where do we go now? Let's just stay in your home in Markov for now. I don't think many people aside from your father knew about it. It should be safe. If we need to, I have a couple of friends here in Skyrim that could help us. Okay. Besides, we might be safer knowing the Dragonborn is looking out for us. I know she was probably a pain in the butt at times, but thank you so much for saving my daughter and for guiding her through all of this. It's not much, but if we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to let us know. We'll be in Mirai's home in Markham if you ever need us. Come on, Mirai. We should get going. Just give me a minute. I need to say a few things. Okay. So... Not much to say that my mom already hasn't, but 
I just wanted to say it again. Thank you. What will you do now? Hide, I guess. I know I haven't heard the end of it. As long as the cult stands, they won't stop sending more people after me. Maybe someday down the line, I'll find a way to put a stop to them. But until then, at least I can always count on your help, right? It's not like you got anything better to do. And in return, if you ever need help with anything, I can come along. I might as well put these new powers to use, right? I may not have as many powers as you, but I'm sure I'll go stronger the more time we spend together. We can be shout buddies. What do you say? <laughs> shout buddies. Watch out, men. The shout buddies are coming. <laughs> we'll shout up a storm. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. I look forward to it. Anyways, I should head home for now. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Wow, okay. So I thought she was going to come with us straight from the off. We need to go find her. Is there anything else we want to do, Ori, before we uh, recruit Mariah as our apprentice? I'm glad to see you. So quick look. How about we go and do a little bit of Night Hunter? I found a letter penned by Cragrash, the vampire hunter. While out on a hunt, he was wounded and contracted vampirism. On the day he had become a vampire, he went into the mountains to watch a final sunrise. He left his equipment in his cellar, which remains locked. The letter promised a key to his cellar should be among his remains. Where are we going then? Okay, that's not far from Solitude. We'll go from Catler's farm and run up and have a look. Also, Ori, we need to be thinking about what is Mariah going to be wearing as she travels with us. Going to need a little bit of thought on that one. Maybe uh, somebody would like to put a comment down below on what they'd like to see Mariah wearing. If we was to recruit her into our services, which is the plan, which is the main reason we've done her storyline, and that is her into the uh, game in the first place. Now what? No idea what's going on. Seems to think we're in battle combat with something. There was a cat down there. Thought we were after a vampire. No, these things, I thought one of these before and it completely wrecked me. Probably like a cute panda to you, but to me it's death on four legs with a black eye. And I'm not taking any chances. Neither's Morgana. Yeah, safe. Somewhere up here should be the Vampire Hunter's final resting place. Lovely clear blue sky. Wow, okay, he really did sit and watch the sun come up, didn't he? Iron back hideout cellar key. Some gold and a lockpick. Got the wine. Hmm, let's hope the crossbow. I'll tell you what, he had a bloody good view from up here, didn't he? What a way to go, with that as a view. Well, that's a bit more difficult to see. When the snow's coming in. Okay, Mariah, we need to head for Ironback Hideout, which is how far away. Looks like I might have already been there once before. Uh, we need to run around. Yes. Or straight through, one or the other. Oh! 
Denmark. Wasn't this the place where we fought the uh, ogres? Wow, so everyone lives here then. Yeah, because there's the, uh, cap the bandit captain or something. It hadn't done too well for herself. And I didn't even notice that before. Take some money. Yeah, where's it coming from? One of the pages for Mirai's books. Whoa, okay. So he's got a serious armory. Check out the rucksack first. Or the knapsack, sorry. Take the jewellery. Wonder what the hell's going on there, Ori. So what has he got in here? Orcish arrows. Some basic weaponage. That looks quite good. Silver greatsword. A little bit of equipment there. Loads and loads of uh, dwarven bolts all lined up. Elven crossbow. Ebony crossbow. Might have to take that. Orcish equipment. I think he was an orc. Bloody rags. Maybe he was feeding on people. Elven battle axe of lightning. Nice. Well, there's some half decent stuff in here. I must say. I'm not sure I'm going to want to carry all of it now. He says as he picks up the uh, exploding, exploding dwarven bolts of shock. <laughs> oh well, we'll just pick up all the bolts. I think maybe Morgana is going to start using a crossbow for a little while. Let's have a quick look. Looks pretty mean on her. Goes with her outfit, doesn't it? Ebony crossbow, ebony armour. It's money to enchant it, that's all. Come on, Ori. Let's go to Mark Hearth and find Mirai. A little bit of a detour, this, just to uh, give her and her mum some breathing space. So Morgana and Ori are going to go and have a Maybe chat with Mirai and her mum and see if Mirai does actually want to follow along and become their um, apprentice. So while they're doing that, why don't you put in the comments below what armour you'd like to see Mirai wearing. Uh, obviously nothing too lewd, please. Uh, skimp is fine, but we can't have any uh, exposed body parts. If you catch my drift. So yeah, we're gonna uh, Morgana and Ori are gonna go and find Mirai and have a little chat with her. Make sure she's alright. Make sure she spends some quality time with her mother. Yes. Wardrobe, huh? Well I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, we get to choose her outfit. That should be interesting. Let's go with Bandit Mage. Bandit Mage. Well, I don't think Mariah's going to be too happy with her mother's new wardrobe, but uh, looks <laughs> looks right to me. Wow. Okay. Didn't know you could change her mother's uh, apparel. What is it? What is it? I have some questions about you. I guess I could be honest with you now. Go ahead. Do you realize how big a brat you can be? 
Yeah, of course. I know I'm not the center of the world, but... I don't do it on purpose. I have trust issues. I know that. I just don't know how to react to people being nice to me for a change. I'm trying to work on it. Was that all? How old are you? I have been alive for 17 years. Time just flies by, doesn't it? How old are you? A little older than you. I figured as much. You look your age. At least that means I have time to catch up to you. Was that all? So you're from High Rock? Born and raised. I can't really say I miss it. I think going back there now after all that's happened would be awkward. Too many memories there. I can never look at my home the same way again. I hope your memories here will be better. Me too. At the very least, this will always be the place that changed my life forever. Was that all? I think now's the time we talk about marriage, do you? Is there anyone back home waiting for you? Actually, there is. His name is Aldari. He's always been someone I can trust and rely on. I love him with all my heart. He's always so happy to see me. But sometimes he gets a little too excited, slobbering all over me. <laughs> He's here, Khajiit. <laughs> little bit of dog, isn't it? Ah, oh, I love dogs too. Dogs are the best. They're simple. Love them and they'll love you back. Was that all? What do you think of me? <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. Hmm. Well, you're the dragonborn of legend who saved my mother and I from a certain death. What can I really say? You will always be a very special friend to me. We can be friends forever. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Was that all? Hmm, do you swing both ways? This, uh, a little bit forward for our, uh, our first chat, don't right. you think? Maybe, uh, maybe we'll follow up on that at a later date. Need something? As the flames of today's adventure wane and the shadows lengthen, we bid you adieu, dear friends. Thank you for everything you've done for me. But fear not, for the saga is far from over. Join Morgana, Ori, and Mirai as they navigate the treacherous paths of destiny bound by bonds of steel and spirit. From the winding streets of Markarth to the icy peaks of Skyrim's tallest mountains, their journey unfolds like a tapestry woven with threads of courage, compassion and camaraderie. Today's tale saw our intrepid trio confront the shadows of Mariah's past, facing down the treachery of her own bloodline in a daring rescue that reverberated through the annals of the Dragonborn lineage, shaking its very foundations. But as one chapter ends, another begins, for Mariah now stands shoulder to shoulder with Morgan and Ori, ready to brave whatever trials lie ahead. As our heroes stand on the precipice of destiny, the echoes of their past reverberate through the ancient land of Skyrim. Amidst the cold towers of her father's icy fortress, Mariah's reunion with her long-lost mother, Renai, unfolds like a tale spun by the gods themselves. A story of love, loss and the unbreakable bonds of family. While Morgana and Ori ventured forth on their own quest, Mariah and Renai share a moment of quiet reflection, their hearts united in a dance of shared memories and newfound hope. It is a pause in the grand symphony of adventure, a moment of respite before the next crescendo. But the journey doesn't end when the screen fades to black. No, dear friends, for there are yet more tales to be told, more adventures to be had. So if your heart beats with the rhythm of adventure, if your soul yearns for the thrill of the unknown, then join us on this grand quest. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and journey with us into the unknown. And for those seeking companionship and camaraderie, fear not, for our Discord server awaits. It's a place where adventurers of all stripes gather to share stories, swap strategies, and forge friendships that will last a lifetime. So come, join us by the fire, raise a tankard to Skyrim's heroes, and let the echoes of our adventures ring through the halls of legend. Until we meet again, may your dreams be filled with dragons and your hearts with courage. Fairly well, brave souls. Until next, we meet again.